after them. And Christy True is going to lead us in worshiping God with amazing grace and joyful, joyful. You'll find those songs inside your bulletin.
bring a wee message, which I've been threatening to be very long, but I promise won't be. Um, today is a celebration of your love for each other and your commitment to that love and marriage. Today is all about love. You have fallen in love, you are in love, and you are promising to love each other for the rest of your lives. But if I'm to be honest with you, it would be wrong of me not to mention that marriage is something that has to be continually worked at. When we talked in preparation, I loved how you guys, even though you grew up half worlds away, have the same values. You love family, you love adventures, you love tourism, and you have a faith in God. But you also know that you're different. You also know that Stacey loves people and she loves to chat and share ideas and enjoy the company of people, that she loves birds, that she loves her friends. We know Stacey, that Simone loves music, but, and he also really likes people, but he needs his cave time. He needs his time to recharge himself. So there are so many things in common, but there are also so many things different. Just being a man and a woman makes a difference. I remember when Alan and I first started going out, our first date, we were on a Winsweet beach with, with um, just hard rocks everywhere and it was really desolate. And um, he reached out and held my hand for the first time. The passion in that hand held was amazing. It was just so exciting to touch somebody who liked me and I liked him back. And as we walked along, we were talking deeply and sharing our ideas and we walked past a burnt out car. And Alan dropped my hand, picked up some stones, broke that romantic moment and started smashing the windows. I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? And he's like, because it's there. <laughs> Men are strange, got to say it. <laughs> really helpful is you chose an amazing verse to be read and so we are going to have uh, Matthew Mateo is going to read that for us right now. From the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy, I can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge. And if I have faith that can move mountains, but not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor, and give over my body to hardship, that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. While there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we promise in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now, we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three Morning is now going to read us an Italian poem about love. I love you if you. I love you, but I. 
I love you as long as I love you when you are I love you for now I love you but to a certain extent I love you when I have nothing else to do I love you because you're exactly like I want I love you because you only understand me I love you until it's worthwhile I love you but with real use for it has to not exist I love you, but I do not buy a pig in a boat. <laughs> I love you, but no food is good, cushion is bad. I love you, but what if I meet someone prettier? <laughs> you love her when you not, do not compare her to anyone else. You love her, but she becomes your home, as unique as your childhood. As unique as the loving, loving woman who gave you her to. You love her when you love everything. You love her when you cannot keep anything for yourself anymore. You love her when her smile is the reason why you live. Every single day of your life. You love her when you can. when she comes first, even before your own good reasons. You love her when you put nothing else before love. You love her when you feel good by yourself, but with her it's like being in heaven. You love her when you love her and that's it. You love her when you love her completely, with no condition, with no 